By request, I'm doing a review on my trailer hitch. Yes, it's normal for them to all rust right here. This is a class one hitch from Kurt, and it bolts up on this side right here. This is actually where the OEM tow hook normally goes, but I've removed it for the installation. And the other side bolts up here through two existing threaded holes. All four bolts will be tightened down to 86 foot-pounds, and you'll need an 8-inch extension. You don't have to worry about not having the OEM tow hook installed afterwards, because you can use the tow hitch to tow the car. Uh, what I did do is I actually reused the OEM bolts from the tow hook here, because they were longer than the ones that came with the hitch. That way, if I need to remove the hitch later, I won't lose those bolts. I was concerned about my exhaust clearance, but fortunately I have a little bit here, a little more than a quarter of an inch. And the only reason I have that is because I use these extended polyurethane exhaust hangers. And the nice thing about that is it lowers it just out of the way enough, and it also prevents any sort of movement, even at wide open throttle. So I can push on this back and forth and it does not touch. So no issues even after several months of hard driving. Now, if you have an exhaust like the Arc Grip or the J2 Engineering, it will not work with a hitch because it's going to occupy the same space as the hitch itself. Here are some measurements to help you determine if your exhaust will work with a hitch. From the mounting point to the bottom most part of the hitch is about 7 and 3 quarters of an inch. The main section of the hitch extends about half an inch below the rear bumper cover. If I was to draw an invisible line from the corner of the exhaust cutout on the bumper cover to the hitch, the distance between the two would be about three quarters of an inch. From the inside corner of the exhaust cutout to the back of the hitch is three and a half inches. From the back of the hitch to the front corner is about three and a half inches as well. This is the spot that you have to worry about touching your exhaust if you have a style like mine. I hope all of these measurements help you out. I recommend using a floor jack to support the hitch weight when installing it. Also, if you're planning on towing a trailer, you're going to need to install one of these harnesses. I'll put a link to my guide above and in the video description below. I'll also do separate videos for some of the accessories I'm using with my hitch. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now. And as always, thank you for watching.